Holly Kavanaugh, and this is Celebrity Auction Doctors. Vocally, my biggest heroes are Mariah Carey, Christina Aguilera, Adele, Whitney Houston, all the big diva singers, they definitely push me vocally. Meeting Mariah was like a moment that I will never forget. I met her once on the show and I always told myself like don't be weird, like you know, be cool so then maybe in the future you could like have dinner or something, but it's not gonna happen, but I like got up there and I was like, I love you and I had no idea what to say and I panicked and I like showed her my ring that I had and then she showed me her like forty thousand dollar ring and I was like, oh and then as soon as I got back to my seat, I cried. <laughs> it was so weird when I couldn't help it, it just like came out. When I used to watch American Idol and I saw people cry and like get really close to people, I was like, well, it's not, it's not really like that. Like, why would they cry? That's kind of weird. And then I cried and I cried like every show that someone got voted off. So it really is something that you don't understand unless you're in it. We all kind of just became one huge family, but Overall, that experience is one that I will never forget in my life and I've met some amazing people and people that will stick with me through the rest of my life so I'm very thankful to have gone through that crazy roller coaster. I am just releasing things independently. I've been writing and recording in the studio, just making music. I did a single called Outer Limit which is out now and I did a music video to it which is on my YouTube channel. So that was a really fun, crazy experience for me. It was my first music video, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Recently, I just released another single called Girlfriend, and um, that was a really fun song to record. It's more of a um, an acoustic track. I have a Twitter account, and it's at Kavanaugh AI11. And then I also have a Facebook page. It's just really putting stuff out for my fans right now, and just enjoying making music. Um, my dog is Shankly. Well, he's my brother's dog. He gets kind of angry when I say it's my dog. But he's in the family and we all literally fell in love with him as soon as we saw him. We've asked our parents for a dog for, I don't even know how long, like every Christmas. <laughs> and we never got one and now they are obsessed with him. He's a golden and a lab mix and he's two and he's like the cutest thing in the entire world. I love him. I recently just joined with the Humane Society. The biggest reason is obviously because of my dog Shankly, but as soon as I joined, they opened my eyes to thousands of different problems with all different kind of animals. They they are animals and they don't have a voice to say, you know, that that's painful or, you know, don't do that. I think it's our job to stand up for them and to just really make people understand, see what's right and see what's wrong. So that's why every time I see an animal getting hit or something, I literally see Shank Shankly's face and it just like breaks my heart. We really need to branch out to everyone and just really show people, you know, what's happening to these animals and that it just needs to stop. So the item that I brought today is this beautiful necklace and I wore it on the show when I sung The Climb. And the climb has a very big meaning to me because when I first tried out, that was kind of the song that got me through my audition when I had like my breakdown and my crying dramatic moment. The climb kind of saved me and took me to top 40 the first year that I tried out. And then when I went to try back out for Idol, during the show, I sung the climb again just because it was really appropriate because I had come so far and this song, it just really explains my whole journey on Idol. And I wore this necklace during my performance so it really means a lot to me. I loved, loved, loved that outfit that I wore during the climb. It was like everything about that performance was just perfect for me. So um, it's a very beautiful necklace and I picked it because it just is a very big statement. I also got my very first standing ovation on Idol 
during the climb. It was just so crazy because everything right happened. It was just a really, really great moment for me and I think that was one of them that I will never forget. In the video of you watch it, I do like a little like happy dance. I don't know why I did it, but it just happened because I was really excited. So um, yeah, this necklace definitely has a lot of meaning behind it. I really, truly love it and that's why I will be auctioning this off today. Hi, this is Eddie Ojeda from Twisted Sister, and this is Celebrity Auction Doctors. We're here for a great cause, basically. Um, myself and Dee Snyder have been affected by premature births uh, in both our families. And the March of Dimes is a great charity. It's also a great organization that uh, helps greatly in this matter with uh, a lot of families. So it's something we both support. And Dee Snyder helped raise a lot of money at, on Celebrity Apprentice, I believe $400,000 so far. So we're here to keep on helping. Thanks to the work of the March of Dimes, my kids are healthy. And thanks to the March of Dimes, millions of babies and moms are living a better life. Okay, this jacket was given to me by Dee Snyder. As you can see, it has his name on it. This is from the Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. It says it's front and back. And he gave it to me, and I just haven't had a chance to wear it, and I just kind of felt funny about wearing a jacket that has Dee's name on it. So I called them and I said, shouldn't we donate this to the March of Dimes? And he agreed with me, and uh, here it is. Well, lately I've been working on a few different projects. I have a solo album, my second solo album that I'm working on. I have just collaborated with Dee Snyder on a musical. He wrote the musical, but we collaborated on the music. And this past year, I just came out with a hot sauce, a cherry habanero hot sauce. They won first place in the Scovie Awards in the uh, sweet hot sauce category. So I'm pretty excited about that. And, you know, just keep on moving forward. There's a couple of shows here in Vegas I might be working on and possibly a soundtrack. Uh, film soundtrack, so it's all good. Keep the ball rolling. So am I still not gonna take it? Well, it depends on what I have to take or what I don't have to take. Like if it's gonna be good for me, like a colonoscopy, just to make sure everything's okay, then I'm gonna have to take it. But uh, we all have a choice in what we have to take and what we don't have to take. So it all depends on what it is. We shall see. Okay, so go now to CelebrityAuctionDoctors.com and bid on this jacket. You'll be helping a great cause, the March of Dimes. Go now. I got a job in television as an assistant and uh, worked on television commercials, you know, productions, car commercials, those kinds of things, candy bars, uh, for about a year and then I got a print job. And right then and there, uh, when I did that print, I said, I'm not going back to television. Seven years ago, uh, my wife bought me a sewing machine for Christmas and she said, quit talking about it, just do it. Next day, I went out and got some fabric from my mom's closet and taught myself how to design and sew. And within a year, was selling in the stores. And I haven't stopped since. As far as designers go, I've always looked up to Dior, Cristobal Balenciaga, uh, Carl Lagerfeld, Tom Ford, or some of the more of the modern ones, Alexander McQueen, that really get my juices going. But I mean, I really look back at the, you know, YSL from 
you know, the 50s, things like that. But my biggest influence is music. Music for me is, it's not an object in front of me. It's a world that I create in my head off the sounds that I hear. And the main things I'm working on is a mass market retail line for everybody can buy it. Um, that's done and that will be launching next season as well as some accessory lines. Um, you know, I want to build a brand. I still have my black label, which is my couture or my, you know, high-end handmade, you know, but not everybody shops that. I want, I want to make my line available to everybody at every different level. So, you know, that's going to be my main focus for 2014. I have a 15-year-old daughter. I have a 17-year-old son. Every weekend, 20 kids at my house. I have a pool table, I have this and that. It's a safe place for those kids to come relax. They have their own freezer full of food. A big issue in the United States, you hear about a lot overseas, but a big issue and problem we have in the United States is teenage sex trafficking. You know, this is really personal to me, having these kids at my house, seeing them be kids, and then thinking about, you know, these kids being recruited, snatched, and forced into slavery in today's society is ridiculous. It shouldn't be tolerated. When doing my research and Googling different things, I came across a Polaris project, and I did a lot of research on it and uh, found it to be credible. You know, they offer 24-hour support, not only for victims, but for family members. Uh, they offer support for the children that are born in this industry. You know, it's not only United States, that's our focus, but it is global. They're one of the leaders for this cause, and they're really uh, trying to educate people on this issue in the United States, and it's only getting bigger. So it was easy for me to pick a charity such as the Players Project to um, help contribute to stopping this. So what I brought today for the Celebrity Auction Doctors is my Gingler scissors. These mean a lot to me and let me tell you why. I bought these and I started working with them. And these scissors are actually the scissors that I used on Project Runway Season 7 and cut my final collection that I won with. Added on to that, these are also the scissors I use on Project Runway All Star Season 3. So for me, these, uh, these mean a lot. This, these guys seen a lot. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. These are my personal ones I use in my studio, but I felt that. I wanted to bring something that meant a lot for, you know, for a lucky fan who wants to help me raise awareness for my cause. Um, I thought that might uh, spark some interest. I also have brought the magazine, which is the Marie Claire July issue, and it has the editorial inside. There's this page one, there's a whole editorial of um, the collection that those scissors cut. So I'm bringing two items, scissors, magazine.